The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Hi classmates, I'm here to report about the history of Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is a raster graphic editor developed and published by Adobe System for Mac OS and Windows. Photoshop was created in 1988 by Thomas Knoll and John Knoll. Since then, it has become the impact industrial standard in raster graphics editing. Such a such that the word Photoshop has become a verb as into the Photoshop an image. Photoshopping and Photoshop contest to Adobe discourage such use it can edit and compose raster image in multiple layers and support mass alpha composting and several color models including RGB, CMYK, Shella, Spot, Color, and Total. What is the uses of Photoshop? Photoshop? Photoshop can use photograph manipulation, painting plus drawing, graphic design plus illustration plus page layout, typography, animations, cells and GIF animations, web image. Who use Adobe Photoshop? Organization and companies, schools and universities. And now, I discuss how to install Adobe Photoshop on Mac OS. First, insert the Adobe Photoshop elements Mac, o Mac DVD into your DVD drive. Second, navigate to, to Adobe Photoshop elements 15 install application and launch the installer. Third, on the welcome screen, click install to start installation. And fourth, on the sign in required screen, Click sign in to proceed with sign in. Enter your Adobe ID and password. Click sign in. And fifth, in the Adobe software license agreement dialog box, click accept. And six, on the serial number screen, enter the serial number and click next. Note, you can choose the, to install Photoshop elements as trial and enter the serial number late, later. 7. Click install to install at the default location. If you want to modify the install location, click change and select the folder on your computer where you want to install Photoshop elements. Click install. The installer copies the files to your computer. 8. When the installation is complete, click launch now. Now, I discussed to how to install Adobe Photoshop on Microsoft Windows. 1. Insert the Adobe Photoshop Elements Windows DVD into your DVD drive. 2. In the Adobe Photoshop Elements 15 dialog box, click install Adobe Photoshop Elements. Note, if you want to close the dialog box or if the security setting on your computer do not permit autoplay, browse to the DVD using Windows Explorer and double click setup. If any security warning appears, click yes. Third, on the welcome screen, click install to, to start installation. Fourth, on the sign, sign in required, click sign in, enter your Adobe ID and password, and click sign in. Fifth, in the Adobe software license agreement, Dialog box, click accept. 6. On the serial number screen, enter the serial number later. 7. Click install to install at the default location. 
If you want to modify the install location, click change and select the folder on your computer. Where you want to install Photoshop Elements, click install the installer copies. The files to your computer. 8. When the installation is complete, click close. And that's all. Thank you. And now, here are the basic components of Adobe Photoshop. The menu bar, the option bar, the toolbar, the drawing canvas or working area, and the palette. Menu bar, it is a basic component, just like an other software, contains a file, edit, image, layer, select, filter, view, windows, and help. And the option bar, it controls a contextual size option for different tools present. It also contains workspace menu where we can save and load arrangement of a palette. And the toolbox, it is the main components of Photoshop which include all the useful photo editing tools like a selection tool, move tool, crop tool, brush, pen, eraser, and etc. Canvas. It present in the center of the Photoshop where, where all the Photoshop editing takes a place like whatever photo you want to edit will open this drawing canvas windows where you can edit it with the help of various tools available in Photoshop. And the last one it is Palettes. It's pane that carry option of working with your life in Photoshop, known as a palette, also known as a paints. It load of the right hand side of the Photoshop windows. And here are the menu bar. The file menu, the shortcut key is Alt F. File menu is used to create new documents, open files, browse documents, or folders, save projects, set up pages, print and exit the program. And the edit menu, the shortcut is Alt E. Edit menu is allow you to make a specific editing to the image you have opened in the program. It includes copy, cut, undo, step, forward, step, backward, free transform, fill, and stroke. And the image. Image is the shortcut is Alt-I. It allows you to make adjustment in your documents, image, and canvas. Size can also be adjustment in this menu. And the layer. There is the shortcut key is Alt-L. It controls how you use layers within your program. You can add, duplicate, arrange, fill, or make other changes to the layers you are working on in Photoshop. In the select menu, select menu is the shortcut key is Alt S. It helps it helps you to select a portion of all all image to work on. It allow you to select or increase selection. In the filter menu, filter menu is the shortcut key is Alt T. It is where a creatively comes in. It is allow you to make a number of the adjustment of your overall image. Image instantly be transformed. In the view menu, view is the shortcut key is Alt V. It allows you to viewing adjustment. You can also zoom in, zoom out of a fit in window. Choices is a viewing documents. This is where also active they activate the visibility of the rule, rules are grid. In the Windows menu, Windows Alt is the shortcut key is Alt W. It allows you to, to customize your workspace. It allows you to open palettes and menus on your screen. In the help menu, 
help me know is the shortcut key is Alt H. It allows you to search the information about the specific function and solution in the Photoshop 2. It can be easily accessed by processing F1. And now last minutes, I'm gonna discuss about the parts of the toolbar. The marking. Select a part of an image you are working with, arrange from such as rectangular and elliptical. Lasso. Draw selection paths freehand with a mouse. If you click and hold, you can change the tool so that you can draw polygons. Magic one. Select all the same color or similarly colored adjacent pixels. Crop. Crops the image. The selected area will be surrounded with linking dotted line. Move. Moves the image on a selected layer to the other part of canvas you are working. Brush. Basic tools for drawing line and the gradient. This helps you to paint stage by stage with more than two colors. The paint bucket. Fill out a crop part with just one click of this tool. The erase tool. Erase what you crop or where you click with your mouse after selecting this tool. The clone stamp. Copy a selected part and restore it where you want. Pattern stamp. This is nearly the same tool with clone stamp, but you can arrange the shape you crop and you can use it as fixed shape. Smudge. Effect as such rubbing canvas with fingers. Dodge. Make it bright the part where you scrub with this tool. Sponge. Saturate or desaturate selected part of an image. Text. Type in various characters. Foreground. The color of image that you draw with a drawing tool such as brush tool. Background. When you use gradient tool, the color will be different from the foreground color. And the parts of the palettes. Color. Mix the color or RGB colors and select it for the for background and background colors. Swatches. You can choose colors among the sample colors. Style palette. You can choose a special effect of colors on the layers you selected, such as text, buttons, and images. History palette. Photoshop automatically saves the process of your work, basically 20 steps prior to the current work. Action Palette. Save basic technical effects and adjust it more than one image. Tool Preset Palette. Select the brush you made and save. Layer Palette. Separate each step of works from others.